Hi guys, this is René Molenaar for GNS Trivolt, and I want to show you how you can solve the RIP Source Validation Lab. Uh, it's a simple lab, we only have two routers here, and the problem is that we have an incorrect IP address on one of the routers. So that also means that uh, by default RIP will check the source IP, and if it's not in the same subnet it will uh, reject the routing update. Um, okay, so let's see what we can do to uh, make sure that we still learn RIP information. So this is the IP address on router Jensen. It's 21 by the way, and this is 12. So that's not working. Let's configure RIP and see what happens. So you can see what happens when we receive a RIP update. Let's do a debug. RIP is a little slow, so we have to be patient here. There we go. So it says ignored version 2 update from bad source. And that's because it's from another subnet. And as a result you won't find anything in the routing table. So what we have to do is disable this. And now I have to think where we have to configure this. I think it's in the router rip config. Uh, okay, here it is. Validate update source. No validate update source. Let's do the same on this router. And now RIP no longer cares about the incorrect IP address. Here we go. Now it just says, OK, received an update. And everything is fine. Do show IP route. And you can see that we have learned this network over here. It's still not reachable, of course, because the, um, the next hop is not reachable. It's in the wrong subnet. But RIP will still learn the uh, information. Uh, that's it. That's all there is to it for this lab. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Until next time.